Arcadiana is Holly Bear. Alrighty, welcome in. We are in the midst of festival season yeah. and this morning talking about a new festival, one that uh, any of us have yet to experience. Yeah, you know, last weekend was the Sugarcane Festival. Right. This weekend we're going just a touch south. Generette and the first international French bread festival I can only imagine of the delicious possibilities. Al? You are absolutely right. You know, I, I love bread pudding and Big G uh, Gregory Olivier makes great bread pudding, so much so that, look, the lieutenant governor eats his bread pudding. <laughs> Boom. Huh? This guy, he's great. He knows food. I know food. So we're going we're gonna to do that with Gregory this morning. And Peggy Butte is here. Now, Peggy, you're with the French Bread Festival, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so uh, t how excited are people about this? Excited. Uh, this is the first in the state of the United States. So we're excited. So it's international. So somebody could come from as far away as say Bunky, right? <laughs> I imagine. Yeah. yeah. Now Gregory, yes, I love sir. bread pudding. Um, I do a very kind of a traditional bread pudding. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I sprinkle raisins in it, but that's it. Okay. Uh, I know there's a lot of, of different kinds of bread pudding out there. Tell me about yours. Mine's a little a little different. Um, I don't use any raisins. Mm -hmm. I may use a coconut or pineapple with it, mm -hmm. uh, with a special sauce. Yeah. And uh, basically that's it. And I also make a praline, just a condenser, just wow. the praline. So it's uh, a praline bread pudding? Yes. Today I don't have it, but right, yes, right. I do make it with the pralines also. What do people like? Uh, traditional. Both, yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, I like it traditional. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've seen, I eat bread pudding all over America. I write about gas station foods. So I travel a lot. Okay. And I found bread pudding north of Dallas, a pan was $180. Wow. That's a lot. So you know it goes into bread pudding. Yeah. Someone's making a heck of a profit on that. Yes. Do you sell your bread pudding or do it just for fun? Not really. Most of the time it's just fun. Uh, family, friends, you know, have gatherings. Now, how did Laura and Peggy find you? Well, Peggy's my aunt. Of oh! Course, so she found okay, aunt. there you go. <laughs> and yes, and there the you bread go. pudding is a, yes. is a family secret. Okay. It, it originated with my mother, which is his grandmother. Mm -hmm. And then it went to his mother, which is she's the oldest. And that's where he gets it from. Oh, man, this is great. You know, I make bread pudding a lot. I, I burn it a lot of times. So I'm going to be anxious to see how, you, how do you do this and not burn it. Because uh, I know there's something. There's, do you do it in a water bath? No. 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 You just don't burn it. Don't burn it. Okay. <laughs> Step number one, just don't burn it. Uh, is there? So you're going to make this with French bread this morning, yes. correct? Right. And... Uh, any particular brand of French bread that no, you like to use? No, not at all. French bread's French bread, French right? Bread, French bread, French bread. Okay. Hey, Peggy, remind us, when does the festival start? October the 7th okay. at 7 o'clock. Okay. No, 11. 11 to 7. 11 in the morning. Yes, so and, 7 and at what night. And what do you all kick up? You know what? We're going to go, we're going to talk more about this in a little bit. We're going to go back to the studio. We're going to be making bread pudding with Big G, Gregory. Uh, look, this is a very cool place. How can you argue with anyone named Big G? I don't I know. know that you would want I know. To. But you know what? I uh, wouldn't. He's like a foot taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can't wait to check back and learn more about the French Bread Fest.